Hey guys, Riske here, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Last we left off, we found Thomas Gideon, Teddy, Theodore. I don't remember what his name is. Um, anyway, he got killed by his elephant, and I kind of am pro-elephant in this case. I gotta say. So, okay, are we done here? I mean, I assume we are. Hold on. What's this? It escaped, but could not have gone too far without attracting attention. I do still need to go by the newspaper archives. But I'll do that later. If I can. I hope I can. No. Okay. Oh! Unknown third party. There was a witness to the chaos on Gideon's party. They dropped their knife and may have injuries from the fall. Gotcha. Glad I checked. Okay, do any of you have injuries? I don't see anybody with injuries. Okay, well, where are the newspaper archives? Stonewood Manor, Church of St. Nicholas, Palazzo, Trader's Alley, Garden Decorations Trader. Gordona Chronicle. Police station, bandit layer. Oh, right. I forgot about those. Newsboy. And a cemetery. City hall. Jesus, this map is huge. And we're we're still just just down here hanging out. This is gonna be a long ass game, isn't it? Okay, I think that the Chronicle would probably be the best place to go. Let's go check it out. A gilded cage. House of an old family friend shows signs of recent havoc. But yeah, hey guys, how's life? How are things? Um, you know, like I said in the last episode, I'm, I'm just trying to hang in there. Just, it's a lot of chaos. But something exciting in, like, just under a month. I'm going to go see Kesha. I'm so excited. It'll make up for not being able to go to her, um, the showcase for her album, which I was so bummed about because I was so excited that I got invited to it. I couldn't believe it. Because it looked kind of, like, I saw, like, videos of it, and it looked, like, pretty, like, selective. So I was so sad that I wasn't able to go. Okay, so... Need to keep going and then turn left on Baskerville. Gotcha. Excuse me, everybody. Hey! New fast travel point. Love it. I do like that Sherlock doesn't seem to get tired, though. Hey, news kiosk. What up? All the newspapers are sold out. Well, fuck you too, then. We going the right way? Yes. It is just around the corner. Just around the river bend for me. I mean, for me. I really hope they let me look at the archives, otherwise we just wasted our time. I probably have to do something for them before they'll let me. Hey, what up? Stop the presses! Who is Cordona's handsome stranger? Or knows Baggerspoon's local life? Wait, uh, no. Foppish foreigner hides dark past. I, uh, um... Oh, you've made quite the impression already, Mr. Holmes. You care to tell your side of the story? I'm quite certain I have no idea as to what you refer, and I am further certain I have no interest in indulging your gossip. Gossip? The truth will come out, but will only be heard if told well. Scandal, daring do, romance... These are the tools of every good journalist. Nothing travels faster or lasts longer than a great story. Young man, your tale will be told with or without you. My readers demand it. 
You already knew my name and seem aware of my doings here in Cordona. I presume this newspaper is your little endeavor? Yasmin Sertel, editor-in-chief of the Cordona Chronicle. Advocate of the free press, voice of the people, scourge of the silk stocking. Charmed, I'm sure. As an advocate of the free press, I trust you'll permit me to consult your archives? There are gaps in my knowledge of Cordona. Oh, so my work does have merit. Well, I think we can strike a bargain. I shall provide you access, and you let me keep writing about your exploits. So be it. Brooding bachelor builds bridges. Now that's character development. I guess I owe you my gratitude. What can I say? I've always enjoyed working with the Holmes. They whisper such interesting things. I do love a good alliteration, but she needs to back off. This is John's man. She can chill with her flirting. Okay, so he said that it was going to be written by a scientist? Uh, it was a front page story written by a science journalist and would have been published 10 years ago. What, what year is it? Do we know? I forget. I forget what year it is. Um, so it just says 1818. I'm not, not sure what year it is. Oh, okay, it's 1880. Okay, so... Right. So choose the evidence marked with the book icon. Choose appropriate search criteria. Okay. Well, no, this is the evidence I want. How do I... Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Yeah, it would have been ten years ago. Um, journalist. Front page. Lord of All Beasts, written by Dr. Ian Menzies. Only a lucky few can claim to have behold this planet's strangest and most wonderful fellow, the elephant. Said to be land's largest animal, this colossal yet friendly creature enchants all with its size, intelligence, and communication. Elephants are mammals, just like humans, and originate in Asia and Africa. Despite feet that reach 18 to 25 inches in adult males, the elephant is surprisingly agile and in concert... Uh, with its prehensible trunk, can perform feats of remarkable dexterity. Elephants form strong emotional bonds with their loved ones. Some scientists have even reported witnessing signs of grief or happiness. Perhaps the question is not how much elephants resemble us, but how much we resemble them. How cute is that? Okay, did I find it? That's the article. Feeling old already. <sighs> Who are you telling? My birthday's in less than a month and I'm trying to ignore it. <clears throat> I am turning 25 again for the fourth year in a row, <laughs> right? Fifth year in a row, excuse me. I'll just wait to talk until he leaves because his conversation is more important apparently. Everybody must hear it. Okay, so that's done. Lord of all beasts. Wholeness. Oops. So I guess we're back to looking for the animal. Okay, so we need to go back. Where were we? Right, we're down here. I, I just would like to fast travel. What? There we go. I was <laughs> like, so confused. Some of Sherlock's most powerful childhood memories are hidden on this island. It is kind of cool getting more of his backstory. I do like it. Okay. Hey, I mean, actress Nighthawk, sympathetic. So it couldn't have gone far. 
There should be people with injuries. Oh, you look injured. You also look old. Sorry. Hides a knife. You don't look injured, though. I still want to talk to you. May I ask you something? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. No. Okay. Never mind. Oh. She is unfriendly. Let me not talk to her. Suffering from food poisoning. My condolences. Hides a gun. Oh, dear God. Suicide attempts. Aw. Get better. I know that feeling, though. Sleeps on stomach? Okay. I don't know why I need to know that. Wait, what? Knits with seaweed. Despising? Okay. I, I will leave her alone. Maybe smoke her sympathetic. I'm pretty sure none of the kids have anything to do with it. What about you? Tense horses. Okay. Collects fern. Am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way. That's probably why none of these people are helpful. But I think I'm getting the hang of this game, though. It is really fun. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, like, determined to get to the bottom of things. Okay. I wonder how obvious the injuries would be. Like you. Breeds birds, despising. Okay. All right. Say no more. Pearl driver. Diver. I can read. What about you? Looks in a garden. That's by the shore. Feed stray animals. South paw. Okay. Has hydrophobia. Fair. Very fair. Let me check down here. Religious fanatic. Okay, I'll stay the hell away from you then. Back pains. Okay, I'm not trying to look at you. I'm trying to look at your friend. Whatever. You and your friend are stupid. Hostile. Okay, so the Crimeans really don't like Sherlock. It seems. Dental problems. Same. Lived on a ship. Is it just all the same thing with these people? Like, what about her? Why isn't it showing me anything about her? Deaf in the right ear. It is being so weird. Kleptomaniac. Works in a garden. Okay, I don't think any of them have anything to do with it. Huh. Maybe I should check over this away. Maybe that's why the road's flat. They're trying to hint that I need to head this way. Clicks ferns. Genius. Genius and hostile. Has four children. Unfriendly. It seems like everybody is fucking unfriendly. Enjoys fishing. Back pains. Plays cricket. Genius and unfriendly. What else the fuck is new? Suffered severe blood loss? Damn. That sucks. Wait. You look injured. Recently arrived. Oh, but you're a sailor. Hold on a second. Can you satisfy my curiosity? My family is starving because of people like you. Go away. Noted. What about you? Descaled fish recently. Okay. Pearl Diver, Creative, Early Riser. I'm not seeing anything helpful here. Had Firearm Practice, okay. Does that mean is this too far out of the way? Former Dancer, you're friendly though, so I appreciate that. You're not. A seasonal Allergy. Looks in a garden, okay. Man, people of all nationalities just really don't like Sherlock. Hmm. 
You know, you wouldn't think it would be so difficult to locate a... Ooh. Oh. Oh, well, hold on a second now. The elephant barged into this cart of olive oil. What if we're lucky and he slipped and fell somewhere along the way? Yeah, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, I'm probably supposed to be following these stupid footsteps. I forgot about the footsteps, not gonna lie. So, um, can you tell me anything? Why is it not telling me about you? May I ask for your assistance? Mr. Fancy Clothes won't find any answers here. Well, I figured that you would be one to help since, you know, you're the one despairing about your olive oil. What are you, Popeye? Smoke or despising? I keep feeling the, the controller vi oh, vibrating. Oh, does it have to do with the rocks? No? Oh! Oh, I think we're on the right track. No pun intended. Here we go. We're finding it. We're finding it. What's this? My gratitude to this island will grow just as this tree I give to you. From the most responsible citizen in Cordona. T. Gilden. Yeah, Gildan didn't seem all that responsible anymore, I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit. Recently broken, elephant ran past. Okay, hear me out. If an elephant falls in the forest and there's no one around to... John, no. You know, John... You're such a killjoy. I know you really think you're funny. Where the hell did you go? Oh. Of course, of course you are. Just fucking doing sit-ups in a tree. You're out of your tree. Ooh. Forest clearing. Okay. Good news. Good news there. Sorry for the noise as always. I feel like that should just be a customary... Or a... a, a not customary. What's the word I'm trying to think of? Just a given. Just... A blanket apology every episode. Sorry for the noise. I'm really working on getting to my own place, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. So, for now, this will do what I need it to do. It's fine. Ah. Elephant went deeper. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. What is this? Strange. It was hung with care. Hmm. Interesting. I want that key. The game has escaped us for now. We'll find a solution to the elephant problem later. That's fine with me. Dear Theodore, I am writing to you as a fellow islander. I value our friendship just as I value the lives of our people, although I am afraid this one-sided friendship cannot tie my hands any longer. I am being made to look weak in the eyes of your neighbors. They believe that your tree is a mockery, and not a peace offering as you intended. The people are afraid. You refuse to give your elephant a proper trainer, instead using your own limited knowledge to teach it. It is an impossible situation. I admit that I did think of having the elephant forcibly taken and given to Mr. Tailheart, who has shown that he is quite capable of looking after the elephant bean, although she is female and far less frightening than your beast. Please reconsider the situation. Sir William Sinclair, Governor of Cordona. Damn. Alright. Nice. Hell yeah. Wait. Is this bad? Is me going into water bad? Oh. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Did I die? <laughs> Can Sherlock swim? I don't know, okay. Found a set of keys in Theodore Gildan's dressing gown. This probably gets me into his house, I'm assuming. 
Okay. Go ahead and mark that as red. Awesome sauce. Where are we? So I guess... Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and go back to Gildan's house. I'm getting the hang of things. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I feel pretty good about it. Which is rare. It's a rare feeling for me. Alright. Well, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here, and we will go check out Theodore's house in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.